talk a little bit about how that formed and what we had here and what Jamie Lane from Warren and uh, Bobby and, and yeah, Robbie right. and Brad. Well, I mean, that, that kind of started. <clears throat> We had a, like a little jam band that we did. We called it a jam band because it was just us getting together and kind of playing cover songs in general, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, all the songs we like Thin Lizzy stuff, Aerosmith, um, you know, what Led Zeppelin, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that developed kind of into all of a sudden somebody asked us, hey man, you guys want to do a record, an original record? We go, yeah, hell, we'll do it. So Janie and I got together at my house, I have a studio at my house, and uh, we wrote like about 10 songs. Bob had a couple, Bobby had a couple of songs um, laying around, so we kind of worked, reworked those up, Janie and I did, and then uh, had all those demos, and we just said, hell, let's do it. So took those demos that we did, made it into a real record, and it, it was a cool little project, you know. Very simple, just good friends kind of hanging out and playing music. And you guys got album, though. Yeah. Love the, um, the, the Sin, Hate the Sinner, is that Exactly, right? yeah. Right. So it's a cool record. I think it's great. You know, it's just guys having fun and getting away from their primary bands, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's always good to jam with other people. You know? Have you guys played out with that band? Though? Never. <laughs> is that something that will never happen? or? Well, I think, yeah, I'd love it to happen. But I, I, I just think some, some people don't get along with the other people in the band. So uh, I get along with everybody. I think Robbie does too, but you know, some other people don't get along with each other. Right now, so. it's... Uh... Um, Janie and I work together a lot. Um, we write, obviously, on the last Alice record, we had some songs on there, and then uh, we've even worked on some new songs for this new Alice record. I don't know if they're going to be on the record, but some demos. Um, so we're always doing projects together, and, uh, you know, we'll see. It's, it's cool to have friends that you work together well and it's easy and you hang out and have a good time. It's really what it's all about. Yeah, and you get to do what you love to do. Yeah. Different people and different musicians. In Absolutely. So, now you mentioned that you have a studio at mm -hmm. your house. Do you record other things there or is it just kind of your own personal that you do for yourself? <clears throat> well, I mean, mainly I'm doing my own stuff all the time. I mean, whether it's, you know, doing jingles for commercials or, you know, it's when I'm off the road, it's always something going on. But uh, um, I do have like a core group of people that I'm always recording, like bands from my hometown, Orange County, you know, California. Little, you know, like punk band that I have um, that I do stuff for, a uh, heavy metal band that I do stuff for. And, and so it's always doing little projects here and there and, you know, getting them out there. Great bands. <laughs> that sounds fun. You know, so New School Kings is a punk band from Orange County. Uh -huh. And Meta Bands from uh, Houston. Texas, they're great. Those are my primary two bands. Um, another great singer-songwriter guy I'm working with right now called Tyler Scott, another guy I'm doing, awesome. Um, all those people, I mean, they're always like continuous projects because they're like writing new songs and we're always recording this and that, whatever, so it's always something, you know. So do you produce them? Produce them, yeah, record, engineer, the whole nine yards. Got the drum set up in there and the guitar, the whole nine yards. And you said that you do jingles too. What jingles have you done? Tons of crap. I mean, FedEx commercials, and I mean, just you never know what it is because <clears throat> sometimes you don't even know what you're really recording something for. Okay. But uh, <clears throat> you know, FedEx commercials. I mean, uh, what else? I Michelob commercial, the beer company, various things. I mean, any weird little jingle. A water company. Um, you know, so whatever. That's it's all work. You know. Uh, Always be working. You're, was it Barry Manilow that did all the jingles over the years, like the Band-Aid ones and the... Well, in the old days, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, there's so many... The modern ones. Yeah, I mean, there's so many commercials, that all that background music you hear. Right. Sometimes you don't even know what it is. Even in B-movies, there's like a hundred songs in a B-movie. You just hear some music in the background, you're like, oh yeah, what is that? Well, I don't know. Somebody recorded that and got paid a thousand dollars to do it. So, you know, you're always recording some kind of crap. Very cool, that's neat, I didn't know that. Um, another thing that I thought was pretty neat that you do is um, you do guitar lessons while you're on the road. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a one-on-one um, -on -one thing for an hour and people that take the lessons can sign up through your website, kerrykelly.com, um, and they actually get a CD when they do the in-ear 
it's like um, one song is with the guitar parts and one or without, and you do a couple Alice songs, they can do uh, slashes, mm -hmm. sneak pit, and your. Um, yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it's really, I mean, it gives, to be honest with you, I mean, it gives me something to do during the day. I mean, people think, oh, well, you guys are out there, you know, hanging out and doing this and doing that. It's always something going on. But a lot of times, to be honest, you're just sitting at the hotel room, like, watching TV or whatever. So it uh, gives me something to do during the day, you know, and I'm helping people out and, uh, you know, showing them some cool licks and some cool songs. And they can learn some Slash stuff or, you know, Snake Pit stuff or Alice stuff or whatever it may be. And, uh, like I said, it gives you something to do and helps them out. So. I think it's pretty wild because, like, that's how you learn is to play the stuff that you like. Yeah. And then the guitarist has been playing and they can't yeah. quite get it and they're like, Pah. Yeah, they're like, they well, can this, actually learn. From yeah, because when you show them oh, this chord, they go, oh, I thought it was that chord. You're like, no, it's this chord, you know. So, like, ah, oh, now it makes sense. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we actually met a pretty cool girl tonight and before we went into the show that actually took one of your lessons today. And she was saying that uh, she had a guitar that her dad gave her, but she didn't know how to play either. So mm -hmm. she had taken one of your lessons uh, to start to learn. <laughs> so I'm sure you get people that are on both ends of the spectrums too, mm -hmm. um, that are just learning and then are right up there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, I get people that really literally don't know how to play at all. There's like, I have this guitar, what do I do? So I'm just trying to show them any chords and how to hold the pick, you know what I mean? Or how to hold the neck, you know, like where to put your thumb and your hands to guys that actually can play. And they're like, hey man, how do I do this? Or what lick can I do here? Or what key is this or whatever? So, you know, I just try my best and give everybody whatever I can give them. It's like, hey, what do you want to learn? Where are you at? I ask them you know, show me some of your licks or blah, 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 so I know where their speed is, you know? Right. Are you at one? Are you at two? Are you at 10? Yeah. You know, I got guys come in to play great. I'm like, awesome. What do you want me to show you? They're like, let's just jam, which is cool too. And so sometimes we just jam for an hour and, you know, it's all good with me too, you know? It's going to be kind of fun because you never know exactly what you're watching. Yeah. Too, so, it keeps it so it's like literally from an E chord, boom, boom, boom. The guy's like, playing Michael Shanker licks, you know? <laughs> so. That sounds a lot of fun. Yeah. Cool. Like I said, it's better than just sitting there all day, like watching TV, seeing it. <laughs> and you're also part of like a, a all-star kind of jam band called Team Noise. Yeah. So who else is in that with you? Uh, that is my, uh, one of my great brothers from Orange County, uh, Kevin. He's a bass player from a band called Lit from Orange County. I mean, I've known those guys since we were well, pretty much kids, because they're from Orange County, I was from Orange County, blah, blah, blah. So uh, he's on bass, and we have uh, Jimmy DeAnda on drums. He was from the Bullet Boys. And then we have my other boy, Andrew, Is he sings and plays the guitar also. And he's uh, kind of like an Orange County transplant kind of a guy from New York area. And he played with the Offspring for a while, Orange County band, blah, blah, blah. So we're all kind of like in the region, and same thing, we just have fun. Play a bunch of covers. We play some Bullet Boy stuff. Play some Wit stuff. We play some Offspring. Play some Alice. And then we play a bunch of other cool covers. Same thing. Thin Lizzy stuff. Led Zeppelin, Aerosmith, all the kick-ass shit that we all like. And uh, basically, just have fun. I mean, that's really what it's all about. You know, rock and roll. People talk about, <clears throat> you know, why do you start playing guitar? Why do you do this or that? You know, when you're in high school, typically, you get a guitar. What are we gonna do? Backyard party? Let's go have some beer, get some chicks, and rock the house. You know. And we're still doing it now, you know, 20 years later, you know. We're not 15 anymore, we're 20 years later still doing the same damn shit, you know. So do you guys just do that at the house, or do you guys actually play around? No, no, we play around, you know what I mean? But in, I'm just saying in general, that's how it, the whole rock band thing started. Van Halen playing backyard parties. Oh, and, yeah. You know, so it's just like, let's have some fun and play some rock and all the chicks and some beer, and, <laughs> you know. And it's the same thing, like I said, 20 years later.